Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on our Rags to Riches Island. We're doing a little entrance for you today. Now I I have to, full disclosure, <laughs> since we're working on Rags to Riches, I do not have everything that I wish I did in order to make this as luxurious as it should be but i think the way it turned out was super cute and i think it will add a nice little touch to this little farm town that we're working on so i'm doing a little grazing stargazing spot here at the entrance i think overlooking the ocean is going to be not only a romantic spot but just a place to come and clear your mind and look at the stars so I began kind of by doing just like this oblong terraforming and you know I wanted to put the vines around there just because we wanted to add a little bit of nature and kind of overgrown details to it but then I thought it's kind of a little there's too much room left so what I began doing was thinking maybe I should add some water why not? We're right there. So I built it up a little bit more and kind of extended it out a little bit more toward the path to where the path begins and just kind of did not even really a figure eight, but just built up a little terraforming that I thought looked cute and rounding off the edges. It just kind of, it made it look cuter in my opinion. And you know, these cute little, um, little areas that have water apparently you know little dude i don't know what you're doing but let's get back on topic please thank you all right so now that everything is rounded off we're gonna add our little water source now there was a point in time where i was like maybe i can like cap it off at the side and down down the middle and no no friends that that didn't work <laughs> So instead, I'm just going to hop along and, you know, change up my mind a couple of times and then just go back to the original plan because if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So um, we're trying to think about like greenery and things that I think would really kind of add to it. And to me, I don't know, either like a hedge or a bush right in front of a little waterfall is super cute and just kind of making it cohesive and trying to sort of bridge that to bridge that gap a little bit now i'm not going for symmetry here all i'm doing is i'm just trying to add a little bit more of a style really just kind of trying to figure out what's going to work adding some water and just utilizing the things that I had available to me and just kind of seeing what kind of design I could come up with and just to see if at the end of the day if it would work and for some reason I kept wanting to just knock out all of these little nooks and crannies that I was working so hard to get them to fit together and you know it, it it was kind of cathartic actually just terraforming mindlessly for a little bit and I thought you know I might as well just record what I'm doing because maybe you hooligans want to see what I'm doing and I I liked the the little waterfall there with the three spaces but then I realized the tree wouldn't fit there so I had to fill in one spot and then it ruined my day because <laughs> it ruined everything but I made it work so when in doubt use a bush use some hedges and just remember your plot points and where everything fits in the grand scheme of things um, and so yeah flowers definitely I learned a lot especially when we were working on croissant just to kind of you know if we're trying to go with nature it doesn't hurt to add flowers um, 
in greenery just to kind of make everything a little more cohesive and a little more yeah cohesive I think cohesive is a good word words are hard today apparently <laughs> so we're gonna add some more foresty kind of gardeny farmy all the all the words um, together and you know placing the trees here I thought would make a cute little um, entrance for the pergola that is right there isn't that so cute I think this came out so cute I was actually really impressed with just kind of starting out mindlessly and then just working my way towards something really cohesive and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.